So this video one was a tough one for me. So I'm farming torches with a semi budget, semi expensive frenzy barbarian. I know it's super easy if you just go ahead and use that smiter, but I want to do something different. And plus this is on single player. I did not want to spend the next eight to 12 hours, depending on how long it took me anyways, to do a playthrough with a smiter and then get that all going. So I decided just to do it with my frenzy barb and not having all the perfect gear. It does go a little bit bad once in a while, but it's good fun to try things like this that are hard with different types of build and different types of characters. Now, actually, the luck in this video is really, really good if I was on Battle.net, but I'm on single player. So actually, I get a ton of torches that would be worth a crazy large amount of high runes on Battle.net. But on single player, I just want one torch for every character. It doesn't quite go that way in this video, but you'll have to stick around and see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so right off the bat here, I'm just going to show you what I did. I'm just going to scroll over it here while I talk. I'm not going to, it's not a full build guide, but here is the stuff I was using. There's obviously different options on all these different slots that could be better. And I'll show you the stuff that I ended up using a little bit too that uh, other people would recommend. And I used a little bit too, but based upon what I have found on single player so far, when I'm getting out to farm these torches, uh, some of it just is, is good and it's good to use under different circumstances for different gear. But based on what I had, uh, being able to survive and stuff like that I uh, using what I have available on, like I said on single player some of the stuff I have found definitely but I just hadn't been keeping it not thinking that I would need it for this one specific event when I went to do later so unfortunately I did not have some of those pretty basic gear pretty cheap gear to, to trade for online it would be super easy to get someone would have one on a mule that they would probably just give to you now, I know I have life tap on the gloves, but uh, it would take forever proc sometimes, so I just would cast life tap right off the bat just to, in, in order to get it. Obviously, the enchant charges get your attack rating up. Down here, you know, max damage, all res, a big mixture of charms that I got down here. The Torch Nanny. Other options over here, just a couple of these. G face, and I use Enigma just to teleport out to uh, Isul for that particular one. I had a real good map where I didn't have to teleport for a lot of the other stuff. I didn't use a mercenary, he would just die all the time. Didn't really help me out at all, so I just went ahead and didn't even use one. Just a quick look at the skills, obviously battle orders. Uh, you know, this is a frenzy barb, so the frenzy and the synergies for that, the one point wonders, and you did see the swords up there, so blade mastery. And it is a max uh, max vita and just enough of the other ones in order to wear your gear. After the fade procs, these are all capped out. These are up to like 240 or something like that, even the lightning one, which is most important. So I usually get each run started off with Dariel. He always spawns right next to the waypoint here because it's single player, same map every time. Take him out, get the eye, head out to Izul here. And this one I actually have to teleport out to a little bit. I might switch on Enigma to teleport out here, grab this particular piece, get up out of there, and then go after Lilith and get the horn. She also spawns right next to the waypoint almost. And then I come out here and not easily take out Mephisto. He's been pretty tough for me here, I'm going to be honest, but I eventually come back, get my body, get rebuffed up, and go ahead and take out Mephisto, kaboom, and then run over and get the rest of those full rejuves. Now, I decided to YOLO in here, and it maybe was not the best idea. Look at how much struggle I'm having here when I'm taking on Bale and Diablo at the same time, but eventually, I target at Diablo and take him out first, and then I'll redirect my attention over to Bale, pull him away from some of those other minions, and eventually do take him out and get the torch now i'll go ahead and clear some room so i can go ahead and run out here no problem with my barbarian after i remove the old torch identify this one i've got a few but i'm hoping to get one for each character so i'm not exactly mad to get an assassin torch 1018 assassin at least i got one for that character now now coming after torch number two same situation get the eye from durio Go take out Azul, get the brain, and then head over to Lilith and get that horn and open up Uber Tristram to go take on those foes. Now, of course, this time I'm not going to make the same mistake no, with... Oh, God. I actually did make no, the same mistake God, with no. Uber Mephisto here. I get ripped by all that lightning damage, but I come over, take out Bale, take out Diablo, get the torch to drop. So let's see what we're going to get out of this one, and hopefully next time I don't get killed by Uber Mephisto, but actually a Paladin torch. That's worth a pretty penny online on single player. That's eh, all right, because I already had a Paladin Torch. And coming after the next set of Ubers here, we've got Duriel. No problem, give me that eyeball. I ended up going after Lilith here now this time, and what? 
What just happened there? I'm not exactly sure. I kept forgetting to do little things like buffing up and getting my fade to proc and hitting battle orders enough. So that probably was one of the situations here. I took her out eventually though, grabbed all my potions, getting after Izzy right here, getting that brain and coming after Mephisto first off again. And wow, he ripped me again. I'm not sure exactly what I did wrong that time, but I am eventually taking him out, taking out Bale, no problem, and Diablo, no problem. They never killed me a single time. It was only Mephisto and somehow, and da or Lilith that one time, excuse me. So what torch am I getting this time? Let's take a quick look. We've got another Paladin torch, 1720. Now that is probably worth several birds or jaws on the battle net, but on single player, it is a good Paladin Torch, but man, I want another one for a character I don't have yet. You see me heading into the Cathedral. Why am I doing that? I actually had to take time and farm more full rejuves. So you're going to want to get a lot of these before you start unless you have a perfect character. This actually ended up being what looked like a good spot in my opinion. It was brought up by chat to get some full rejuves. Here, same situation. Coming after it again, chopping out these three uh, Ubers to start off to get the pieces to open up to Uber Tristram. So. We're getting the brain, the horn, and the eye. No problem. Let's go ahead and see how Mephisto goes for me this time. Can I take him out? He's almost... Wow. I get ripped again. Again. All those full rejuice fall all over the ground. He was so close to taking out, but... Well, I come back, get my body. Same situation. Eventually take him out right there. So, out go Diablo. Out go Bale. Down goes the torch. And let's come back and see what this one's going to roll for me. Really hoping to get a Barbarian Torch to help out these Torch runs, but here we go. We got a Druid, 1717 Druid. First Druid Torch I got. Hopefully we keep getting new character torches each time. And on to the next, of course, Daryl. Never a problem. Always right next to the, the waypoint right there. Out goes Izzy. Teleport out to him. Take him out. No problem. Super easy. And swap back on to that armor to teleport away. And the Lilith. No problem, right next to the portal once again. Now hopefully Mephisto, unreal, unreal. I'm sure once again I forgot to either take off my Enigma, I forgot to get Treachery proc for Fade or something like that. I can't remember everything all the time, fellas. Or I forgot Battle Orders or something, who knows. But here we go, grabbed another torch, and we've got another Assassin torch, and this is almost the worst possible torch that you can absolutely find. Oof. I got more keys, so we're going to keep this going onto the next torch. So grab a piece here, grab a piece right here, and move on to Izzy and get the final piece to open Uber Tristram once again. Hopefully Mephisto does not wreck me again. I got him. He's not going to take me out this time. And boom, down he goes. Finally stepping my game up a little bit, not looking like a complete noob. But hey, nobody's perfect. And my character isn't really perfect either, so it's going to happen. Down goes the other two. And we get that torch right here. Hopefully, come on. Just give me a barb torch here. I'm still looking for an Amazon as well. And another paladin torch. Man, the struggle is real when you're on single player. Online, you would be just so ecstatic. But unfortunately, I'm only getting paladin torches. Now, I actually came out here just to let the monsters hit me to proc my fade. And then, oh, is that a Sunder Charm? No, no. I'm on single player, but... It is a Geed's Grand Charm. I'm going to go ahead and identify it for you here since I did accidentally find it along the way. 24 magic find. That's a rough one, fellas. We'll just toss that one out to the side. It's not even worth taking to Charcy. So, once again, getting the eye, getting the horn, getting the brain, and going ahead and making Uber Tristram once again. Never really have much of a problem with any of these guys, even with a semi-budget build. So, ooh, man, right there. I could not believe that Mephisto took me out. And I think my reaction right here is, oh yeah, I forgot to reproc fade after I did it right at the beginning. So that's going to happen when you forget stuff like that. But ended up clearing them out no problem here and getting the torch after that one. If I actually remember to do everything, all my pre-buffs, I didn't really have much of a problem. But unfortunately, my memory is not the greatest if you ever watched me stream live. You would know that. And here we go, hopefully getting a torch for another character I don't have, and it's a Necro one. It is an upgrade Necro one, but I did already have a Necro torch. Alrighty, let's keep it rolling here. We gotta get a new torch on this particular run. It's gotta happen. We can't keep getting repeats. I'm hoping this ain't one of those situations where I have to do like 40 
sets of these runs in order to get a torch for every single of the seven characters, but I might. And of course, of course, the typical Mephisto ripped me when I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I just realized what I had done. Look at me grab my head there. I don't think I had Fade procced once again, and I might have even forgot to do Battle Orders. So, when that happens, you're gonna have a bad time. So, here we go, chop these guys uh, down, no problem. Bale and Diablo are never really an issue out here. Go ahead and grab the torch, and what are we getting? A 14 to 16 Sorceress, a good torch, but once again, I already had a Sorceress torch, but at least it's a little bit of an upgrade. 